Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm realizing now editing it, I never actually filmed an intro, but today we have a super fun video where I'm gonna be sharing with you my bookshelves and doing an updated bookshelf tour. I mentioned in my TBR cart video, which was my last video, that I was planning on reorganizing my shelves and I have done. And now I wanted to give you a full tour. I'm really happy with like the new layout and stuff. And I think it looks really, really cute. So super excited and I hope you enjoy. Okie dokie. So this is my top shelf. This is the very top of my kind of full billy bookshelf and this is my romance shelf kind of like my second tier romance shelf it's not like my favorites of my romance but it's not like my least favorites i guess so first here i have two hardback editions of it starts with us and it ends with us i know a little bit controversial but i did actually very much enjoy it ends with us and i do have a little special edition here um it's just got the little rose petals on the spray edge and this was like seven pounds or something from waterstones um so i thought it was very very cute so i have those two here and then I've got my Waterstones edition of Happy Place which has the sprayed edge which I think is just gorge. Um, I cannot wait for Funny Story. I'm also getting the Waterstones edition of that one and I have this one facing out because it is a favourite. Then I just have the rest of my contemporary romances. We have Red, White and Royal Blue, You and Me on Vacation, Book Lovers, The Unhoneymooners, The Honey Don't List, Summer Equation, Honey and Spice, The Fine Print, Terms and Conditions, Final Offer, Get a Life Chloe Brown, It Happened Once summer and the roommate and then here i've got my really gorgeous edition of jane austen novels i feel like they're romances do you know what i mean like unpopular opinion they are romances but this is the kind of like complete collection i guess is what it's called and it's just this stunning kind of like massive edition to be honest and it's got all of her books in it it's got sense and sensibility pride and prejudice mansfield park lady susan emma northanger abbey and persuasion i'm super happy to have this and it was only like 25 pounds so pretty affordable and yeah that is my top shelf just kind of my like mainly contemporary romances so moving down we next have my mystery thriller shelf so it kind of goes through as this side and then into mysteries over here this little stack is kind of my cozy mystery stack i guess um some of them are less cozy than others they're more just kind of like my solid mystery stack i guess so we've got the appeal by janice hallett the three dahlias death and croissants everyone in my family has killed someone and a spoonful of murder a lot of these are series that i just haven't yet continued on with or i have and it's been in kind of like ebook or audio form um i did enjoy all of them kind of highlights here i actually really enjoyed these top two a spoon for murder and everyone in my family has killed someone then we have the christmas appeal and the christmas guest either side of the mysterious case of the alberton angels firstly i like this cover and secondly i really do like this janice hallett book and i also think it works well height wise having kind of like one hardback face out and then these two either side doesn't make things look too up and down um then we've got some thrillers here to be honest None of these are solid favourites for me. Besides, I did really enjoy The House Across the Lake. The Castaways was good. Didn't really enjoy Turn of the Key, The Hunting Party, The Paris Apartment, or Flicker in the Dark. Um, however, I did enjoy um, Verity and Rock, Paper, Scissors. And kind of unpopularly, I also did enjoy I Have Some Questions for You by Rebecca Mackay. I know this kind of got some mixed reviews, but I really enjoyed it. Um, then we've got None of This Is True and Daisy Darker, two books that I didn't absolutely adore, I guess. A lot of these, especially the hardbacks, I did read for my Goodreads videos. That was a fun time. There's always good memories attached to those. So then moving down a shelf. So this is my sci-fi, fantasy and horror shelf. I've read everything on here besides the Moonstone. This is a classic and it's kind of like touted, I guess, the first kind of fantasy book, I guess. So I just have that here because there's a bit of a gap and I feel like if I face it sideways, it looks kind of cute. I kind of like it. So we have Babel by RF Kwan, which I absolutely adored and then we also have legends and lattes by travis baldry facing out this is one of my favorite covers i think it looks so cute so i love having it faced out and then we've got a bunch of fantasies that i didn't really enjoy that much i'm still trying to find my footing with what i like in a fantasy but we have one dark window caraval god killer alice and red queen and then we have just one greek mythology medusa here by jesse burton i do want to um hopefully soon make a dedicated greek mythology shelf i'm very much into my greek myths at the moment and none fiction about it as well i've been really enjoying so i want to pick up some of those that i've listened to audibly and have them on my shelves and that will be going on that dedicated shelf when i do make it then we have kind of moving into sci-fi dystopian type of stuff we've got the circle by dave eggers and then we've got a little sci-fi stack here with our lives under the sea this is how you lose a time war meet me in another life few vicious sleeping giants and illuminate i've also got this really cute little crochet um dinosaur that my cousin made me uh it just sits there i don't really know why kind of fancy vibes i 
don't really know. Um, I just thought it looked kind of cute and I did like having it there. Then we've moved on to horror. We've got Bunny and the Pool Bearers Club, which are kind of like slow horror. And then we've got Camp Damascus. The trees grew because I bled there and Mr. Magic, all three of which I did enjoy. So here we have my next shelf. This is kind of general fiction, romance, and also some translated books. Honestly, there's not like a super, super defined order here, but um, we have kind of some general fiction on that end, anxious people and notes on an execution. I really enjoyed the humans as well. And then we kind of go more historical. Um, my Policeman, The Nightingale, Taylor Jenkins Reads, historical books, Daisy Jones and the Sticks and Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Then we kind of move from general fiction into romance with normal people. Again, it kind of like toes the line. And then we have some of the romances. These are kind of some of my less favorite romances. These are all kind of mainly three star romances. We have The Hating Game, The Flat Share, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, Next of Kin, The Love Wager, My Roommate is a Vampire, Love in the Time of Serial Killers, Dream On, and then we move into more kind of festive holiday romances. We've got All I Want for Christmas, Stuck on You, Eight Perfect hours and then the x hex and then on this side we have some more kind of general fiction stuff here we kind of have a stack not all of these are translated um pizza girl isn't but it kind of gives the kind of weird short book vibe so that's what we've got there to be honest i didn't like a lot of this stack i really enjoyed kim jung born 1982 the woman in the purple skirt and convenience store women but the other ones we've got on here is pizza girl like i mentioned the honjin murders before the coffee gets cold earthlings fish swimming in dappled sunlight weasels in the attic she and her cat and life ceremony and then on the far left hand side we just have a couple of general fictions and two short story collections i really did love both of these short story collections we've got send nudes and milk blood heat and then we have my special edition of yellow face which just has the kind of typewriter yellow face on it i don't know how well you can see but that just sits on this end so then moving down to our final shelf so this shelf is pretty much half full to be honest i do have empty space to the other side if you can see here um but this is like my ya plus miscellaneous shelf i guess so in that far corner we have atomic habits laura dean keeps breaking up with me and everything i know about love um there are two non-fictions and a graphic novel um these are kind of like weird heights and then i also put my non-fiction there because it matched up then we have a stack of ya mainly mysteries but also with the giver and the major runner at the bottom we have five to five a good girl's guide to murder good girl bad blood and uh, my friend has my copy of good as dead so i'm waiting to get that back uh, one of us is lying two can keep a secret and the inheritance games and then we have four more ya books here we've got the reappearance of rachel price which i also have a special edition of this is the red waterstones exclusive like signed first edition she's very gorgeous, and i love that book not quite as much as a good girl's guide to murder but i still thought it was super fun and then we have two ya romances that i really enjoyed if this gets out and you've reached sam and then a kind of ya type mystery book um suicide notes from beautiful girls so then the shelf underneath here is just tbr these are all unread books and they're a little bit knocked over in the corner but my beanbag normally sits here so that's why so this is my entire kind of big red bookshelf okay so welcome to my second shelf this is like my favorite shelf and the one that's kind of on more display in my room they're semi separated by genres and these are all like my just favorite books in general so this top shelf is kind of like a mystery thriller we've got the whole thursday murder club series here obviously um i have the first two in paperback and then the whole series also in hardback i went and bought these two after i read these two because i knew that like the next ones i'd be buying in hardback because i wanted them all to match and i found both of these in a charity shop which i was really happy about because they're both pretty good condition then we have my fifth anniversary edition of if we were villains which i love it's got some really gorgeous end pages and it's also got some illustrations throughout let me try and find one you can see it is the illustrated edition so it's really really gorgeous and i love her um one of my prized possessions and she just takes pride of place there then we have some other mystery thrillers we've got true crime story murder in the family which are two mixed media ones i love ask for andrea penance wrong place wrong time and then facing out is bright young women which is my favorite book non-series from last year so very women and the last double style my favorite books from last year but obviously this is kind of like got the like attachment of the series then moving down this is my favorite romances shelf so this is where we start to kind of blend red and unread which i don't normally do but i have done just for these shelves because it looks so pretty so here a popular opinion i love both these books finally should ask and once more with feeling by elisa sussman then we have the entirety of the kind of original covers of the magnolia park series i have the matching edition 
inspiration for Into the Dark. It's just the next book that I'm going to be reading. So um, I have not um, put that on display because it's on like my TBR shelf. There we have all four of my Ali Hazelwood books. I haven't put Bride there because I feel like it doesn't really fit with the collection and I unhauled uh, the novellas so I didn't enjoy them. But I've read these three, love all three of them. I'm pretty sure they're all five stars. And then Check and Mate I haven't got around to yet but I am hoping to soon. Then we've got a selection of romances here. These aren't five star romances but they are like kind of my favourites but they are ones that could probably be bumped down to the other shelves um because this one is obviously pretty full we've got the true love experiment beach read every summer after icebreaker and the dead romantics then here we have the full chestnut spring series these are on kindle unlimited but i really enjoyed them and um, the ones that i have read um so i wanted to get the nice little matching covers i have read flawless and heartless i have plans to read powerless this month and then hopefully i can get to the last two soon and then i can read like her new series and her backlist because they're all interconnected and then finally we've got two abby jimenez books these were a five and a four point seven five i absolutely adore them part of your world and yours truly so then moving down to the bottom shelf of like my favorites i guess because this is all tbr as well um i'd rather have another shelf for favorites and actual red books but because i've got so many books that i haven't read yet there is a shelf for them so um here we have just some series and then kind of like miscellaneous kind of bundle of genres so here we've got the entire shatter me series which i have now fully completed it's very satisfying to see it all together and all read finally um though i think it definitely could have just been like the first three main books as a series then we've got the full akatar series here i have just read the first one i have plans to read the second one also this month so hopefully i do get around to it then we've got kind of a bit of a random stack we've got all by grady hendrix because he is my favorite horror author and i thought it'd be nice to keep all of his books together although annoyingly like literally they're all different sizes um which is a little bit frustrating but it's fine and then we've got two of my favorite special editions here the sprayed edges are facing outwards just because i think they're so gorgeous we have the last murder at the end of the world by stuart turton and then in the lives of puppets by tj clune and then over here we have two more tj clune books the house in the cerulean sea and under the whispering door we also have cersei by madeline miller but i do eventually want to have a full greek mythology shelf potentially when i read a little bit more here and i've also read a little bit more greek mythology to fill out a full shelf and then finally we have bear town by frederick buckman which is another favorite of mine so to give you guys an overview this is my full big bully bookshelf um you can see all of these shelves here and then when i have my beanbag in place the bottom shelf is kind of blocked now i've got a really really small shelf at the bottom where i keep like my wrapped up books and books that i'm kind of in the process of unholding so those are unread and then above here is all red then we move on to my tbr cart you can just see i did a whole video building this but this is just what where i keep most of my unread books then we move on to my favorite shelf you can see the top three shelves are red and then this bottom shelf here is unread and then moving on it's a little bit messy um because it's kind of just got a bunch of stuff there ignore the cleaning products but that is my kind of like immediate tbr these are all the books that have been on a monthly tbr for this year i have some chocolate and stuff in that basket and then i've got some other books i'm hoping to get around to soon and then my kind of pitiful little non-fiction collection up here so yeah that is my bookshelves i really hope you guys did enjoy a little tour so yeah that was my little bookshelf tour i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe and turn the bell to a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video and if you watch my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a link up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye